Oh. The way that this movie is shot is the way that I wanted to shoot every movie in my brain and haven't been able to until this film. From the beginning, one of the main goals with the Suicide Squad was to keep it alive, keep it visceral, and keep it real. One of the pathways to doing that is the way we use the cameras, the way we're able to use the red and our other rigs to be able to pull us together in a way that makes it feel as if it's real. In the past, the technology has defined the types of movies. So if you think about the invention of sound, the cameras were huge. But nowadays, I think the guys at Red are at the vanguard of this. You can now say, this is the requirements of the movie. What's the technology that we need to do? it? James and Henry working together have really come up with a new dynamic shooting style which really wasn't possible before the creation of Red's new cameras. Nearly every shot in this movie is moving. And not only is it moving, but we want to get in really close and around people and between people, and you just can't do that with a bulky camera. What's exciting now is that the guys at Red have achieved the highest possible quality. That's without a doubt can be demonstrated and at the same time with the smallest possible camera. What I like about the team at RED is they think differently about how they go about doing what they do. We're always getting exactly what I envision, sometimes better than what I envision. And that's what made this movie like by far the most enjoyable process I've had making a film. Yeah.